In the early 1950s, American Air Force pilots requested a small, simple aircraft with high speed and high altitude capabilities. They were looking for an aircraft that could challenge the Soviet MiG-15. In March 1952, Lockheed Skunk Works assembled a team to design an aircraft meeting these requirements. A small, simple aircraft using the General Electric J-79 turbojet was designed. Lockheed presented the new concept to the U.S. Air Force in November 1952, and in response the Air Force issued a general operational requirement for a lightweight fighter. Three additional companies entered designs, but Lockheed was granted a development contract in March 1953 for two prototypes, designated XF-104. The prototypes used the Wright J-65 engine, since the J-79 was not ready yet. The first XF-104 flew for the first time on March 4, 1954 at Edwards Air Force Base. The first flight lasted only 21 minutes, due to problems with landing gear retraction. The second prototype was destroyed weeks later during gun-firing trials, when the hatch to the ejector seat blew out. The pilot was forced to eject in the mistaken belief that there was a cannon malfunction. The next version, the YF-104A, was longer and was fitted with the J-79 engine, modified landing gear and modified air intakes. A total of 17 YF-104As were ordered by the U.S. Air Force for further testing. The version flew for the first time in February 1956. Several improvements of the YF-104A was made during the testing period. In January 1958, the first production F-104A was delivered to the U.S. Air Force. The F-104 had a different design than most jet fighters of the time. The wings were located much farther back than on most designs of the time period, and the aircraft had a very small and thin straight wing. In fact the wings were so thin and sharp that they presented a risk to ground crews. Protective guards had to be installed on the wings during ground operations maintenance. The small wing design also led to an unacceptably high landing speed, making a boundary layer control system necessary to lower landing speeds. The F-104 was capable of speeds well over Mach 2, but it was given a limitation to Mach 2 since the J-79 quickly overheated at higher speeds. The F-104 was armed with a 20mm M61 Vulcan cannon, although early versions had problems with the Gatling mechanism. Sidewinder air-to-air missiles could be carried on the wingtips, and later versions added additional pylons for bombs and rocket pods. A centerline pylon could carry a nuclear weapon. Early versions of the F-104 Starfighter used a downward-firing ejection seat. This led to 21 killed pilots that failed to escape the aircraft in low-level emergencies. The ejection seat was changed to an upward-firing seat in later versions. The Air Force first used the F-104A as an interceptor, though it was not designed for that role. Its range and armament were not well suited for the interceptor role. The first operational starfighters experienced problems with the J-79 engine and the M-61 cannon, and were grounded after three months of service. The issues were solved but a change of strategy towards fighters with longer ranges with higher ordnance loads resulted in reduced Air Force orders. In 1958, the Starfighter served in the Taiwan Strait Crisis, providing a significant deterrent effect. During the Berlin Crisis in 1961, 60 F-104s were airlifted to Europe and provided a powerful air superiority deterrent. The Starfighter served in the Vietnam War from April 1965, to protect F-105 Thunderchief fighter bombers against MiGs. It also protected airborne early warning aircrafts over the North Vietnamese coast. F-104s flew 2,937 combat sorties between April and December 1965, and five aircraft were lost. Starfighters were deployed in the war again between June 1966 and August 1967. Another 2,269 sorties were flown, with an additional nine aircraft lost. The Starfighter served in several countries. A Super Starfighter F-104G model was developed for Germany, and was used by several other European countries. In Germany, 116 pilots were lost in accidents with F-104s. This was due to its use as a low-level fighter bomber, as well as additional avionics systems added for the F-104G that added a distraction for the pilot as well as extra weight. The Starfighter was deemed to be an unsafe aircraft with poor aerial performance by German commander Erich Hartmann, who was a World War II fighter ace. 
The F-104 was also used by Pakistan in the India-Pakistan wars during the 1960s and 70s. The last starfighters in U.S. Air Force service were retired in 1983, although the aircraft saw further use in other countries and by NASA.